What's up you guys, welcome to another vlog. Guess what? We did. We purchased a 120 gallon salt water fish tank. This is going to be such a labor of love. This is going to take a lot of time to get it how we want it. And it's just a really fun project for the family. So why did we get a salt water fish tank? Because if you guys have been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I have ADHD and I get bored and I'm super impatient and like, pfft, I would have stuck a goldfish in that thing and called it a day, like I'm not even kidding. This is something that Reese has wanted his entire recovery journey, which is like eight years now. So he had a saltwater fish tank when he was in active addiction and he's been talking about wanting a fish tank forever. So one day I just was like, you know what? Dude, let's just go to the freaking store. Let's just go get it. Stop talking about it and go do it. Reese and I both will talk about doing something for like, a decade before we actually go do it, right? So like we talked about this fish tank forever. He talked about wanting a smoker for seven years. And last year on his birthday, I got him a smoker because I'm like, dude, if you talk to me about a smoker one more time, like just go get the smoker. <laughs> so we finally have this fish tank and I'm super excited to share, you know, the setup and the build of it. What's crazy is saltwater fish tanks take an extreme level of patience that I don't have. They take a lot of time because first you get the tank and that's the whole thing. So it took us about two weeks to just get the tank in and people from the store came and they set up this fish tank. They got everything up and running for us. And what is great is they will also be coming to help maintain this fish tank because I cannot be trusted. I told my mom that we were getting fish and she gasped and acted like I should have been on a blacklist because like maybe there was a turtle that was supposed to outlive me that didn't survive and then there was like this hamster issue. But to be fair, anyone that has owned hamsters, I swear to you, has a traumatic experience with them. We owned three and there was Cuddles and then Walter and then Cupcake or something and they all just, you know, like after like maybe a year. Actually, the first hamster that we had lasted like three years. So that was like a good, good run for a hamster. I'm also really bad at taking care of plants. They will die near me. You know, I, I forget to water them. I am selfish and I need all the water. <laughs> I just, I kill plants. I'm not good. I can smoke plants. You know what I'm saying? I can't take care of plants. So it took us two weeks to get the tank and then the installation was like a four or five hour process. Like I said, they came and they set everything up and they got it up and running. Then we had to wait two weeks to get rocks. Now these rocks are very old, very dingy and dirty rocks. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure what kind they are, but essentially the tank had to be up and running for a couple weeks before we could introduce rocks. Then the rocks have to sit for a week or two. Then we can bring in two clownfish. Now the reason for that is because the tank essentially has to get old. Like it has to get dirty because we are growing a habitat. So in order for it to be safe for the fish, we had to install it, let it run for two weeks, then get the rocks, let the rocks chill for two weeks. It gets really grimy and dirty. Then we get two clownfish, but I'm not just getting any clownfish. I am getting maroon clownfish that look black and love them, obsessed with them. So then after we get the clownfish, then we are going to get, you know, a few other fish. We definitely want a puffer fish and a starfish. Uh, Riley picked out this like rainbow fish that's super mean, so go figure. But I am so relieved and happy that someone from the store is gonna come every two weeks and maintain the tank and make sure everything's running smoothly. They're gonna teach me how to like feed these fish. It really needs to be Reese's job because like I said, that tank is cool. I would have stuck a goldfish in it. like and just continued living my life because I don't have the patience for it. But this is going to be such a fun project that we're gonna do with the kids. Every two weeks, we're gonna pick out a new piece. What I would love is like that coral stuff, you know? Or like maybe that anemone that Nemo has in Finding Nemo. Love it. But it's just so cool to think that like we're growing a habitat, we're growing a home for these fish. I am so excited that we get to do this project as a family because it's something the kids are always gonna remember. It's something we can look at and enjoy every single day. And it's just going to be incredible. I'm gonna take you guys with us on this journey too. So you guys are gonna get to see like fish tank updates and you guys are gonna get to see the new fish that we bring in, our new family members, which I'm super excited about. There are so many cool fish too. Like there's, every kind of fish you can imagine. My like top things are like the 
the maroon slash black looking clownfish because how dope is that? So on brand. Um, and I want a hermit crab because they're so cool with like with their little eyes and little face. So I want a hermit crab and I'm gonna get like different size shells for it so that it can get bigger and bigger because every single time I go to Florida and I see these like fish tanks in every like restaurant in Florida, I always see hermit crabs and I am obsessed with them. I think they're so cute. I am literally obsessed with hermit crabs. I think they're so dope. So that is my top choice. I don't think Reese has picked any fish just yet, even though like this is his whole passion. He is all about this and he's so excited. I mean, we're all excited, you know, but this was something that he wanted to do for so long and it's awesome that we can like finally make that happen. And like I said, it's like really cool for the kids to be able to do this too. I did see one of these like snake looking things in the store that I looked at and I was like, <gasps> I need him, I need him. So I basically have like a thousand questions for the fish tank people because I don't know what fish can go together. I don't know if there's some fish that we shouldn't put together. I don't know how to feed them. This is a complete learning experience for me because I know absolutely zero. I know nothing when it comes to taking care of fish. And what Reese knows is pretty little because he was an active addiction when he had his tank, but we're gonna figure it out. Like it's totally fine. Fun fact, when I was a kid, my mom had a fish tank. I don't think it was salt water, but I remember like how much work she had to pour into this fish tank. Like it is work no matter if it's a salt water tank or a fresh water tank. I remember her cleaning the tank and like she had this like snake hose thing and she would take the water out and put new water in. So that would be regular fish tank. Um, but man, it looked so hard. And I just thought to myself like, why? why? You know, like they're so boring. They don't do anything. Now I'm in my thirties with kids and I'm like, they're so pretty. <laughs> let's just watch them swim around. Oh my God, let's get a starfish. Like I'm, I'm like totally into it now and I'm learning and it's fun. But I remember being a kid thinking like, this is so boring. So I'm relieved that my kids are excited about it <laughs> because I was like, man, that's a lot of work for pets that don't love you back. You know, like a dog, a cat, like they, they'll love you back. Pet monkey. They'll love you back. Have you guys seen the pet monkeys on TikTok? I proposed to my friends here that we get a pet monkey, a little diaper, and I'll have the, the monkey for two weeks, and then like Jason could have the monkey for two weeks, then Jory could have it for two weeks, and we'll just share this monkey because there's so much work that I would feel like I had a newborn and I would feel like I'm dying all the time having this baby monkey in the house. I don't know if I'm allowed to have a raccoon in the Chicago suburbs, but pet monkey, and we all share it. Let me know what you guys think. I also need help with the names of the clownfish. There's two of them. I also need help with naming the clownfish. I don't have names for them. There's two, and I'm just gonna assume that they're a couple. You know, maybe they're married. So what are, the, what are their married names? <laughs> if you wanna see more videos like this, smash the subscribe button so that you can see fish tank updates. In the next fish tank video, I will reveal the names of the clownfish. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. I'm annoying Christina about this fish tank. She calls hers the other woman, you know, cause like Jeremy is like obsessed with it and pays a lot of attention to the fish tank. So we need like a nickname for like this fish tank for Reese, you know, like, like side piece or something. <laughs>